Hey guys, here we are sitting on the bridge of our starship. Um, we are in the interior of our starship. I'm sitting at the captain's chair. We're going to go ahead and pick our next mission. Um, let's see here. All right, guys, we're going to do patrol missions. So we have these two promote patrol missions, and I'm going to do one using uh, the ship's weapons as they are. And then I'm going to change over to cannon weapons. So um, each of these are patrol missions. Uh, I think they they randomly reappear every once in a while, so you can grab them again. They give Dilithium an experience. But let's go ahead and let's leave the interior of our ship and get started on that mission. So leave interior. Doesn't make sense that I'm beaming out though. All right, so as you can see on this mission, we're starting it in the same location that we were at during the enemy mine. I'm oh, sorry, mine enemy mission. All right, we'll get some more materials here. More gas. Oh, no, not gas. All right, so we have, it looks like a heavy warbird over there. Let's hit full impulse. Okay, let's go ahead, slow down. Let's beam overload and let's take this guy out. Ooh, that's light, nice damage. Oh, we have it. Ooh, All right. Oop, little damage for our aft shields. I'm sorry, no, side seat shields, not aft. Uh, I really don't know my port to starboard, to be honest with you. But I am impressed that I remember port to starboard. All right, let's get some more gas up here. And yes, I never get tired of that joke. I think it's fun. <clears throat> All right. We have three more groups. All right, full impulse. Almost there. So each one of these squadrons are a different moon. And there's two at the third moon. Alright, let's get ready. Full impulse. Uh, so lowering our speed. Overload weapons ready to go. And we are going to put on our... What was that skill? Um, pull. Oh, I need that skill off hand. Alright, we're just continuing firing our weapons. Ooh, plasma torpedo here. Come on. Plasma torpedo. Okay, that's a two. So I really like my anti proton. No, no, they're wrong. I remember the bird of prey back there. All right, let's get some more ore. Okay. All right, and then we're off to the third moon. That's right, that's skill. Polarize the hull plating. From Star Trek Enterprise, the last of a true Star Trek series. But even though I said that I love Enterprise, there were some serious issues with it in its fact checking. It got me in track for you. Crap? Ah, oh, crap. Ooh, plasma torpedo, plasma torpedo, and another plasma torpedo. Ooh, damage. Oh, I wish I would have put this on earlier. Um, press that. I need my shields in the front. Clear some damage. Keep. Come on. Almost got it. 
Ooh, and we have it. At 52 health, or 52% of health, of hull capacity, I should say. All right, I gotta do better next time. But remember, one of the things that cruisers have that really is their best defense is their tractor beam. They can hold you in position for their torpedoes, or in this case, plasma torpedoes, to do their damage. Imagine what would happen if my shields were all gone. Uh, it wouldn't have been that bad since this is only a commander level, but it would have been bad at other levels. Alright, I'm not gonna, I don't want to be in front of this thing's weapons. So again, play, play like a tacticianer. Alright, uh, oh, that would have been intelligent. I totally forgot to put on my third bar. There are my beta, my attack uh, pat pattern beta. Alright, oh, it's firing. Warning. Go. Right, attack pen beta. There we go. Oh, that did it. There you go. Yeah, you're filming that. Dead. Who's your mama? All right, let's depart the system. All right, now what we're doing is we're entering Earth Space Dock. Um, I'm going to do one more mission before this episode is over. We have one more patrol mission, but before I do that, I need to activate my... Uh, I need to put on my different weapons. All right, so here we are at Earth Space Dock. Let's go ahead and I'll just look around real quickly. I do like to invite people to my fleet because A, I try to keep lower level equipment in there along with higher level equipment. Uh, so I will invite people and I again, th that gives them access to the weapons but also encourage them to help out with the fleet uh, requirements to level up. We do have almost a complete leveled up fleet. Alright, what do I want here? Ship. Alright, not here. Let's go over here real quickly. We need, oh, what am I looking for? Let's see here. We do need to take these weapons off. Now that I think about it. Beams, single beams. Um, so we're going to go down here. This is the pure gold. We're going to be doing this ship here soon. It is our <coughs> ambassador class starship. So we're going to put our weaponry on that. Let's see here. I um, might as well put this here. They have, uh, cruisers have four device slots. So you can put batteries there or, you know, other weapon platforms. <clears throat> Let's see here, that's... Got more batteries here, but that's right. I wanted to do these weapons because we're going to do is put cannons on our ship. Uh, these are the other platforms, though. Let's see here. Put this right. There we go. Let's see here. All right. So we want our. So I'm only going to be using light cannons instead of heavy cannons. They do fire faster. All right. I'm going to put that there, and then we're going to put turrets behind us, and put that there. Good. Put control on this. Let's see what to do. Um, let's see here. All right, so we'll deal with the rest of our ambassador class ship later. Let's don't forget we want to go to stations. And we need to go and purchase the right bridge officers and right skills, basically, for uh, commanding a starship that has... Oh, Q's here. What's up with that? Uh, he's usually gone after Christmas. Hmm. Uh, but we need to have the right bridge officer skills, and I'm going to the wrong place. So, uh... <sighs> there are specific skills that your bridge officers can have for using, uh, what is that, um, not beam weapons, but, uh, 
Let's see here. Uh, cannons. Oh, that's right. Down here. That's what I'm looking for. Here we go. This is officer down here. Let's go ahead and go to the store. And then let's bring up here, put that there, and look and see what exactly our tactical officers have for the skills already. Um, it's kind of confusing. This, let's see here. Um, there, there's a couple different ways of monitoring this. Let's. What am I doing? Um, actually, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's go to the. Uh, uh, instead, of, this is again a benefit of having a fleet. Let's go to our bank and go to the fleet bank. Oh, not my bank. The fleet bank. So one of the things I do is uh, I make sure there are bridge officers and other. Um, Man they're called tech manuals to train bridge officers and skills but let's first see what we have here under bridge officers because as, as you can see we have a load of them um, let's see here let's grab him what else we'll go ahead and right now let's see what my bridge officers already have let has just those two skills. Let's see here. So I'm looking for another officer that I want to pull out for the uh, particular tech manual that I can create from it. Um, this one. So I download them basically to my bridge officer list here, and then I'm going to trans. I'm going to turn them into basically uh, create a manual to train my officers with. So select this, and there's the other one. Let's create manual. Select this again. All right, now I have two manuals in my inventory that I can use to teach my officers. Um, so I'm going to learn this. It costs 600 experience. And then let's go over to my other officer. We'll learn that as well. And that was 1,200 experience for teaching my bridge officers, which I still have 51,000 experience plus. Um, in the lower levels, I really try to be careful while I'm teaching my officers because I don't want to burn out my experience. And a lot of times I want them to have certain skills. Maybe that's what I should do, is actually set up a team, a combat team. Hmm. Or s I have, no, well, talk to you about that later in another episode. Let's see here, what else? We want to look for another ability. Let's see here. Hmm. Move to cadets, cadet area. Um, let's see here, go down here. Create another manual. And here it is. All right, got a manual there. Let's see here. Where is it? Let's look over here. Well, it looks like I made a boo boo. I think they already had that type manual. Hmm. Tactical fleet. Oh. Tactical team, I mean. Huh. <sighs> Obviously. I okay, well, oh well. Um let's select what I want. So what we're gonna do here, put tactical team there. And let's go ahead. Oh. Put that there. Oh no. And that's even more stupid. I already had three in the fleet bank. All right, let's see if we bang again. Let's go ahead and grab some of these other skills. I think I'm going to apply them and train them to my officers so they can use them if I need to. Um, Okay, 
what else now? Select this. Okay, I want to learn this. We find my dilithium. And let's beam to our ship. All right, let's warp off to our next patrol mission. I so love that. All right, here we are at our second patrol mission. We have cannon, light cannons on our ship. Let's go ahead first and make sure we have all of our abilities. Because as you can see, they took uh, by replacing my abilities, it took away the beam overloads that I had there and did not replace them with the cannons, which I don't understand why it doesn't do that. So I'll do that. Let's see here that we have that down there. That looks like we're pretty good. I see everything. Oh, another tag attack team. Move that over. Put that right there. Lock my tray, and we are off. Light war bird. Let's. Oh, now there's three. Oh, stop him from firing back. Which is fine because I do have my water. Do that. Bye bye. Looks like I have a plasma loop. All right. Oh, it's load with those burn away their shields and just demolish the ship. There we go. Boom. And a little shield damage there, but we're fine. Still have a hundred percent hull left. Defeat Riemann Squadrons. Full impulse. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get some more gas. Full impulse again. Alright, next area is where? Okay, why is that circle still there? Huh, okay. Well, there's our next ship. Ooh. Heavy Warbird. All right. Warning. Ship is under attack. Ah, shields. There you go. Yeah, I got you. What the crap? What just happened? Seriously. I was looking at myself. I had full health, and then all of a sudden gone like I've had this happen on rare occasions here and there and I'm, I'm literally wonder if that was an error or, or something um, when I play this back I'm going to look at that more closely oh, but anyway what can we say shit happens right alright let's go ahead there's my warbird if you notice it's shields are still damaged but it's hull is completely repaired um one of the things with these ships I really like, I prefer to be um, out of line of their primary forward weapons because those are their heavy cannons. Alright, so again, I did stop it from firing. I'm guessing it beat the... <sighs> Alright, well, let's... Again, I will be checking that out again uh, when I watch the episode. I'm very curious of what actually happened there. Alright, attack plan beta. That, that. Let's go ahead and stop the bird of fire. And, oh, you see what I mean? I thrashed it. I did enjoy that.
All right, full impulse. Looks like three light warbirds. And there they are. They're in weapons range and they're firing. Put polarized hull on. Got hit by a plasma torpedo. That's always great. We're going to all low in action. We're going to torpedo. I'm hitting this one guy with a turret, but nothing else. No, nothing else. Ooh, yeah. There you go. One more ship net. And, ooh, one goes to zero. Boom. Full impulse we go again. Some more light cruisers. These missions are great just for like using your ship. And just kind of testing out a new build or something. Alright, rapid fire and attack pattern beta. And boom. Take care of that guy. Go ahead and put on our polarized hull plating. And this time I'm gonna shoot that cookie plasma torpedo. And now we'll take care of this ship. And we'll take care of it, we did. Full impulse. Alright. Oh, another heavy warbird. Let's rip through this one like we did the last one. Well, the second time, not the first time. Let's not have a repeat of the first time. Again, I'm gonna check that, this check, rechecking the video because I was like down to zero health like that. So, um, on rare occasions, I've had that happen before, like something like that. But yeah, that ripped me apart. All right. I, again, as I said, I don't want to be in its forward weapons. I try to get, attack it when it has aft weapons at me. But again, this is like the Romulan version of a, a escort vessel or tactical vessel. Let's go ahead and take care of it. Right. Shield have failed. Let's go ahead and stop firing and pull the whole plating. And it dead. A boom. Alright, engine battery, let's go ahead and what? I thought we were done. No, oh, it's another circle down there. Alright, looks like they've added like a a sixth patrol. Ooh, a bat uh what is that battle cruiser? Okay, so for those of you who played Star Trek CCG, I like those ships. When playing Romulans, they're great. All right. Rapid fire and attack pattern beta is on. My shields are looking good. We can get plasma torpedo. Ah, no problem there. They are almost history. Crushing. They are history. All right. Let's go ahead, that completes this uh, patrol and depart this system. Again, I love that. All right, here we are in sector space. Let's go ahead and collect this uh, experience for this mission. There's no other reward except for experience. And that completes this episode in the patrol.